Nobody's perfect, everybody makes mistakes. Luckily, GarageBand for Mac has a great built-in tool that will help you fix minor timing mistakes and get your projects back on track. I'm Patrick, this is the GarageBand Guide, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use FlexTime. So, what is flex time. Well, essentially it simplifies the process of editing the timing of beats and notes in an audio region. You do this by adding and manipulating flex markers in your audio region's waveforms. Here's a real audio track that I have recorded some real audio into. There are a couple of really noticeable timing errors. Have a listen. In order to fix these bum notes, I'll first need to open the editor window. With the audio track selected, I can click the scissors icon in the top left corner, select show editor from the view menu in the toolbar at the top of the screen, or use the keyboard shortcut E. Down in the editor window, you need to make sure the enable flex box is ticked in the track tab. Once that's done, you're able to add a flex marker at a specific point in the waveform that you want to edit. Clicking a peak in the waveform, also known as a transient, adds a flex marker that you can then use to move that part of the waveform. Flex markers are automatically added at the preceding and following transients to give a kind of audio point of reference for when you start moving things around. So if I click on and drag the flex marker on my bum note, then drag and drop it so that it's in line with the rest of my project, yeah, that definitely sounds better. I'll do the same for this other dodgy note too. Notice that I'm able to zoom in and out of the waveform using this slider. Okay, let's see how that recording sounds now that I've used flex time to fix those out of time notes. FlexTime is a really powerful tool and a great way to fix the odd timing mishap, but it's important to recognise when you're able to salvage a slightly off recording with it, and when you should really just chalk it up to experience and re-record that vocal line, bass hook or face melting guitar solo. There is no substitute for nailing that perfect take after all. With your real audio timing mishaps taken care of, all that's left is to tighten up the timing of your software instrument or MIDI tracks. Click right here to find out how to do it with GarageBand for Max built in quantization function. 